Greetings guys from the hot and humid Natchez, Mississippi. My first stop down here. And I'm going to visit Melrose, a historic home built in 1848. And I'm gonna go in and get my check it, uh, my ticket. Um, let you know this place is open every day except for Tuesday. And I'm um, here for the first nine o'clock tour. All right, it looks like they have self-guarded tours. Maybe that was from the COVID days. Yeah, a lot of Greek influences. You see the uh, columns right there. And those are actually painted to look like marble. Uh, same with those chimneys it looks like up there. See the widow's walk. And yeah, you see these vents a lot. I, I remember seeing those on the uh, Louisiana houses, a couple of outhouses out here. I'll find out what these are. I don't know if these were like slave quarters. Look like kind of little apartments. Yeah, the shade uh, feels good. Okay, looks like you uh, check in here. See, yeah, there are your tour times and it's $10 for a ticket, so. All right, I'm at the visitor center and just a couple plaques back here. And here is John McMurrin, that lawyer, like I say, had the house built. And his wife was the daughter of Mississippi State Supreme Court Justice. And, uh, hmm. All right, just bought my ticket. It's actually $11. And my tour starts in just a couple of minutes. And yeah, pretty big property. Here's a little map they gave me. I'm gonna walk the grounds after the house tour. And most of these buildings are original, these outbuildings. So it's the most intact of these homes in Natchez, that giant live oak right there. I'm gonna have to ask what this is, but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna wait for my tour guide. Okay, guys, y'all come on in. Where y'all visiting from, ma'am and sir? Tennessee. Welcome, Miss Sue. Now. Also, and then you'll see the bells above your head that operate to, to some of the enslaved of uh, two buildings that were ten house slaves. Fifteen uh, slaves for the Will Rice Carriage Drivers, Master Gardeners, Blacksmiths, they would have been into this thing. How do you activate the bell? There's a cold. 
All right, guys, just finished the house tour. I'm gonna go ahead and walk around, and it's pretty cool. I see a hawk, it looks like, uh, over there flying around. Let you get a good look at the back. And, and again, these columns, uh, stucco painted to look like marble. And I asked the guy, I don't remember what he said this is called, but it's kind of like a seesaw. It's a child's toy. And it's a replica of a uh, larger instrument they had used. You would sit on it and rock back and forth to practice uh, mimic riding on a carriage, is what he had said. So yeah, I need to sit on that. No, I don't know. But anyway, uh, pump right there. And yeah, the parking lot's starting to fill up. So if you're going to come, okay. Storm cellar door. I'm going to sneak through here. All right, yeah, so I would come early. It's starting to uh, fill up a, a little bit and plenty of windows over here, shuttered up. And uh, yeah, get the shade with the ventilation and also hurricanes were a big problem down here. So yeah, because it looks like they've got that leaded glass. Yeah, again, stuccoed uh, chimneys. <sighs> Made it look like marble. And yeah, so this thing uh, built 1848, was actually completed 1849. And a guy named Jacob Beyer was the architect. He was from Maryland. And he was crafted by Irish uh, brick masons and then also slave skilled, uh, uh, skilled slaves constructed this thing. And obvious Greek influence right there. Like I say, it's none of the Spanish or French uh, Creole influences that you see. And pretty cool ironwork there. Uh, come up and take a look at that. So yeah, John McMurrin is the one who had the house built. A little uh, carriage step up. Uh, had this place built. He was actually a lawyer who had moved down here from Pennsylvania. Wanted to get into the plantation uh, business and, and practice law down here. He actually pr processed uh, law with uh, future Mississippi uh, Governor Quinman. Uh, I showed you his picture when I was inside. Uh, yeah, so this wasn't a plantation. This was just as a state because Natchez at the time was kind of the Beverly Hills of the South, I guess, if you will. It was kind of the Martha's Vineyard, uh, Newport, where all the well-to-dos uh, well built their houses. And so, but he had owned uh, five, he was a, at least partial owner of five different plantations. I know two were in Arkansas, um, 350 slaves altogether throughout all those plantations. Uh, this house, he had 22 to 25 kind of domestic slaves. And uh, uh, some slept in the, uh, 10 were allowed to go in the house. Um, and then uh, I know some, they said, slept on top of the uh, kitchen, which is right there. And the dairy, the building flanking on, on the other side. Uh, yeah, so, and he owned this thing up until 1865. Uh, the devastation from the Civil War, he had financial issues. And he owed money to this guy, Mr. Davis, ended up selling the house to him. And then McMurrin actually died 1866 in a steamboat accident in uh, Galveston, Texas. So, yeah, and he was planning on moving uh, back. He was moving up, going to move up to uh, Maryland. Was the uh, was the idea? So, and uh, yeah, just the front lawn, front lawn. I think this is just a walking trail. Probably it's not going to lead anywhere. Maybe a garden. I need to pull out that map they gave me. Uh, kind of a crepe myrtle with uh, the Spanish moss hanging down. Pretty neat. Okay, yeah. So I see a garden area. Oh, this is a pretty nice place to hang out. These giant live oaks all around down here. And these don't have as much of the Spanish moss on them as from what I saw when I was in Louisiana. Oh yeah, you can, uh, I feel like I can smell the magnolia all the way right here. And you see this one right here is in bloom. These plants aren't totally in bloom, but here's one right here. Yeah, you can smell that. Pretty cool. All right, I think I have this kind of terraced off. Yeah, okay, I see another bench over there. And, hmm, 
All right, yeah, a little garden back here. Pretty re relaxing place, so go check out those buildings. Up there, you can see the bell system they would use to communicate. There's another one right there, and in the bedrooms, you can see the other end, the little pulleys. Also, to tell you, this place was named after Melrose Abbey over in Scotland. And an abbey, abbey is just an old uh, British word for a monastery. So, I don't know exactly what uh, building this is. Oh, something else I'll tell you. And you'll see there's kind of a, not a hipped roof, but it must be really subtle. You can't tell from here, but a kind of a triangular roof that would filter water into a cistern uh, because there are actually uh, bathrooms and showers. Uh, you'll see in my videos uh, inside, which was obviously pretty, uh, pretty unique for the time. A little narrow door on this thing. A little kind of gutter system to flow down there. I don't know where that leads. Okay, and this is actually the privy. I just looked at a little sign there, so they've got this door open. And the whole family can uh, take a squat. <laughs> and sure, it uh, smelled lovely in there. Looks like this door is a jar, so maybe you can pull it open. Uh, well, there's a modern bathroom. <laughs> well, let's see. This must be a well in there, it's looking like. Oh. Uh. Cistern building. Okay, that's where that water's flowing down. Yeah, I'm tempted to lift that, but yep. So they got their water. Oh, okay, they do have these open. I can say the dairy. All right, I'm glad I walked over here. The McMurrin slaves. And this would have obviously been filled with milk jugs, uh, barrels of butter and, and whatnot. Employees, AKA slaves. shade all right and walk over here and this would be the smokehouse I'm not sure you can go in this one um nah it's locked and another cistern over here don't need to walk up there and a little small shed over here Pretty smart to put that thing partly under the tree. Get a shot of the back of the uh, kitchen. And then I'll walk back, check those. I'm pretty sure those are probably going to be the slave cabins. Kind of a gnarly looking uh, oak over there. So this is the Melrose Playhouse. So this is where the children would spend their time, even have the shutters on this thing. So, okay, all right, that was the Melrose Playhouse, and they had cattle out here too, and of course they would take the uh, milk over to the dairy. Okay, here we are back here, let me see what these are, I'm not sure this is going to be, these are probably the slave cabins, but let me walk over here first. And I whipped out the map here, and I think this is going to be the carriage house, so let me walk over here. I'm 
well, maybe I'll look at this one first. This is looking like stables. I can see the little uh, horse stalls in there. Not as nice as the governor's palace in uh, Williamsburg, but still pretty decent. Yeah, they had a probably upstairs uh, uh, storage area. Oops. I guess the horses could stick their heads through the uh, those latches up there. Oh, all right, so what do they keep cattle in here? Uh, parts of plows and, and everything and whatnot in there. Just a shed. Yeah, it's covered in clapboard. So, all right, and they have some carriages in here. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, this is a pretty good property, a lot to see. And here we go. Yeah, this is definitely a good one to check out. And like I said, the ticket was only $11, so. I can see uh, horse flies flying around. I'm sorry, dragonflies. Yep, yep, carriage house. There's a nice one right there, little lanterns on there. Looks like the back has came off of that. Looks like they would have had a padded backing. And that was probably for the uh, Sunday drive right there. Nicer one. I was like looking at the shocks on those things. And just a kind of a smaller one right there. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna walk over to these uh, slave cabins. And you've got your typical, the one, kind of a duplex style. The one chimney in the middle. And it doesn't look like you can go in. And these are actually pretty decent for slave cabins. I guess maybe the slaves here on the uh, estate had a higher status or something. I don't know. here and all right yeah I knew they had this thing uh, air conditioned for a reason and okay so it looks like they've got a slave museum in here a harsh reality and this is the guy down here they call him they're calling him whipped Pete and he was found uh, in southern Louisiana when the Union occupied, during the Civil War, and Union occupied uh, the area. And they don't know too much of his backstory, but you'll see that picture when you go to all these slave museums. It's uh, yeah, a pretty horrible one. And obviously, I wanted to go to, to Vicksburg, not that far away, but I couldn't squeeze it in. So, you yeah, one of the contraband camps. And yeah, you can pause and uh, read these. Many faces of slave holding. Pro-slavery propaganda, wage slavery. The escape. And yeah, I'll hold this still. You guys can uh, pause and, and read these. I'm probably going to pause and, and read them uh, better myself when I get home. Migration South. Uh, bidding for slaves in Virginia at auction house. Uh, Newport News. Culpeper Courthouse. A lot of Virginia over here. Uh, in the Hermitage, I need to visit that one day. Andrew Jackson's house there in Tennessee. And a town of slaves. Okay, yeah, 
watch a little. I thought they might have a TV right here. And some of the hymns they used to sing, Go Down, Moses, Let My People Go. Okay. A couple dolls down there. On plantations, this mixture was often baked on the flat edge of mm. an ordinary hull that rested in the attic. All right, well, pretty cool, and it was good to uh, escape the heat. This has got to be another privy, so I guess this is the slave privy. drain into the pond <laughs> and I see a barn over here I'll walk over to that and wrap around it's kind of a dilapidated little shack over there I'm not even sure this is part of the property but obviously a old barn that's got some age to it it looks like it's being barely held together uh, yeah just some old uh, uh, some pretty interesting. We'll walk around, take a closer look at these. A little thing to kind of, well, I don't know what that is. But yeah, little plows over here. Very old. Uh, kind of neat. So yeah, okay, that thing had a uh, rubber tire on it. <laughs> cool. All right, guys, I forgot bug spray. That's one recommendation if you come out. <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm going to get out of here. That's it for Melrose. Um, as always, like and subscribe. See ya.